In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple way that you can space the field with your routes, enabling your ability to be able to beat every defense that your opponent will throw at you. Now, um, this is a concept that I've been working on, um, just different methods, and every formation has different ways that you can get to this same basic concept. But essentially what we're going to try to do here in this video is teach you how to space the field properly um, against zone defense and as well as giving yourselves check downs if your opponent is going to want to run some man-to-man -man coverage um, so that you can be effective against man zone the blitz match coverage um, this is a great way to kind of learn how the ins and outs of passing at a high level like i said this is going to be applied to any formation but um, for the purpose of this video today, I wanted to break this down out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook and out of the spread formation. Um, you could also do this and apply this to the trips halfback week formation. Um, but again, we have a full ebook on the air raid spread offense. If you want to check that out, that is going to be linked down in the description. You can learn all of our concepts, all of our ebooks. Uh, by joining our Patreon. Uh, it's just $10 to sign up. And like I said, it'll get you access to um, all of the material. So what I like to do whenever I'm building this concept, and again, this is from any formation in the game, but the big key with this is, and you can really do it out of any play as well, um, the big key when doing this is you have to, in my opinion, understand how you're gonna get the ball out quick against pressure, and also how you're gonna be able to use this to, you know, basically put yourself in a good position. So I think the best play to do this out of is the Bucks corner. Like I said, you can do this out of any play in the formation. And I wanna first start with kind of a, kind of an interesting coverage shell to start off. And that is the cover two with hard flats. So we have hard flats on the field, and then we're going to actually have you know, kind of a heavy zone here to the, the three receivers. And like I said, we have the hard flats. And so what you'll notice with this is if we try to do something like this, if you will, just something simple like this, I'm just gonna take a sack. I just want you to watch the routes and I wanna kind of break down, you know, some of the keys with this in terms of how to manipulate zones. Now, the biggest thing that we need to understand about this concept is that zones are on a grid, especially in Madden. And so what you're gonna notice is the vert hook. This guy here is an avert hook. He's gonna cover this hitch. Um, or I apologize, I think it was this guy. But he's gonna cover this hitch, but only after the route that was in his grid ends up cutting up field and going to the middle of the field. So then we can kind of piece some things together and kind of build off of this. Now, you might be thinking if you're watching this video, you know, spread is a two by two set. That is true, but if you think about it, we want to number our receivers all the way according to the running backs. We have two receiving threats to the left, and we have two receiving threats to the right, but the running back gives us that third wide receiving threat to be able to attack the defense. So let's say, for example, that we do something like this, where we take our running back and we put him on this little hitch, little option route, we're gonna zig Valdez Scantling, and then we're gonna have our hitch and zig on the backside. So you see, we still have those flat routes and we still have all of those things. But what I wanted to do is just show you kind of how this is gonna change this cover two defense, because what you'll see is this vert hook is gonna now be in conflict. And as you can see, my post is running open over the middle of the field. I'm gonna give you another example of this, and this is gonna to be to put our running back to the short side of the field. The reason why is because it's going to shrink the grid uh, of the zones, and this is a great uh, tactic for like a trips tight end set as well. But again, these are the shaded down vert hooks. Now what you're gonna notice with this, um, what you're gonna notice with this here is that this little uh, hitch to the right, if we were to take the running back and we were to put the X receiver on a smart routed in, and we were to wheel the running back to the outside so that he goes outside of the numbers, you'll notice that this yellow zone will not be able to guard the running back and it will be wide open for me to be able to hit against the opponent. Now, another great way to do this is to use a slant route. I actually think a slant route is very slept on um, because of the fact that it's a route that's gonna develop quickly over the middle. It gives us a nice read, um, not only in the middle, but also at the end of the play, which I'll come back to in just a second. But again, 
I just want to show you this real quick. You'll see the vert hook will still get sucked in and I'm now still able to hit my running back. So as you can see, there's a lot of value to this. Now, the next thing that I want to show you about this concept is not only am I able to, hit, let's say that I didn't want to hit my running back. Okay. Or I didn't want to write, I didn't want my running back to be on a wheel route. Well, now what we can do here um, with, with this running back, in, in my opinion, the best way to do this is to just take your running back and put him on an option route and smart route it. What you're going to notice against the cover two is that, again, we're going to put that vert hook defender in conflict. And what you'll see here is he's going to have to make a choice of who he's going to guard. And as you can see, I can just hit my option route once he curls over the middle of the field. Now, if they are running a really good cover two, and I mean a really good cover two, their user will be able to help with the running back route um, on this play. However, again, I wanna come back to the vert hooks and why I think this is the best route combination in Madden. So what you could do here is their user essentially is gonna have to go guard the running back because the zones won't. The zones are not going to guard this running back route. And then you're gonna have this little quick slant right here what's nice about this slant is you'll see here that i can throw that ball right in that window against that coverage another thing that is really nice about the slant is it's going to kind of work in conjunction with this zig route especially on the back side of this play and what you'll notice is if we run this properly late in the play if they are having to hold down underneath on those two routes there that's going to leave that slant coming over the top for a good 10 to 15 yards against this defense. Now, you can do this out of several different, I think, um, you can do this out of several different ways and get at this in several different ways. Another really fun way to do it is to use this Bucks corner play basically as it is, except to slant X. We're gonna leave the running back on the table route now and then we're gonna have these underneath routes. And I'll show you how this plays out. Again, you're gonna notice that this vert hook, even though it's shaded down, is still gonna kinda of come underneath and it's gonna kinda of give me a window where I can hit the ball over to that, um, that curl route. Now let me show you a little bit of a better example uh, of that. And that is where we can manipulate these zones outside. Now this is a little bit of a nuance in Madden 22. Um, it's actually something that I don't love in Madden 23, at least right now, um, just the way that the game is gonna play. But what you can do is, let's say that you don't have the ability to hot route a post, or you know you don't wanna mess with stuff like that. One of my favorite things to do is to run a curl flat concept just like this, and then to take the running back over the middle and put him on that option route or just something like this, right? If I had an angle route, an angle route would be really good as well. Um, another thing that you could do is a simple slant to him and then you can have the curl flat concept be with your running back and your outside receiver. But what you'll see here is this hard flat is gonna go to the running back out route and the vert hook because of the grid system is not gonna go guard that route to the circle receiver. So those are some basic things that you can do. And then when you start to see that your opponent is consistently going to this cover two with the two vertical hooks, I think it's really important um, to give yourself some alternate route combinations as well that are still good against any defense. And that's a simple fade on the outside. We're gonna put this inside your receiver on a zig route. And then what I like to do is just, again, a simple out and wheel concept. If I can't run this out and wheel concept, then I want to run the curl flat. If I don't feel like the curl flat is the best move, then I might run a, I might want to run a, you know, a levels concept, something simple like this um, to kind of get at them. Now, I don't recommend this right here just because of the way the game is, is played, but something simple like this is a really good little check down on the back side here. You notice the option route. But now on the left side, I've got the perfect spacing to be able to hit this fade if they are indeed hard flatting that outside corner. So you kind of see how all this plays together. Now, something that's really important to deal with, I think, is press man, because if they aren't a good man to man coverage, this can be make you can make this kind of hard. Um, so how are we going to attack man from something like this? Well, this is where we can take advantage of our formation a little bit. So if I'm motioning the running back to the right, you notice the defense doesn't change. So I can kind of create basically the same idea. It's just, we're gonna put the running back over here. And again, generally speaking, you wanna run against man instead of against zone. 
but this right here is enough to consistently beat man because they have to go guard the wheel or the slant and as you can see you can just get the ball out quick and deal with it that way so that's an easy way to deal with that. And then the last thing that I wanna talk about in this video is dealing with a, a heavy pressure. And this is where, again, we're gonna force them into a basically a max coverage cover two. They have to choose between that route, um, that little hitch, and they have to choose uh, between between the, the flat route. So let me show you this one more time. And again, don't worry so much about the right side, but this little two-man game, you should be able to beat the blitz on either side with a two-man game because they just don't have the zones, right? They don't have the zone defenders to be able to defend it. Let's say that they blitzed you out of a cover two. If they do indeed want to send pressure out of a cover two, let's just say it's something like this. Let me just try to get the nickel corner to go over to the other side here. I'm going to revert hook him. And then my user is going to be here. Well, in this situation here, this might be able to stop the first piece of this. But again, the second piece of this over here, you see, oh, there's people there. So now I'm gonna come over here and hit this read. Very simple, uh, very good. And I love the spacing um, that this route combo can, can give you. You can do this out of several different formations. The bottom line is you have to understand that whichever side is your three receiver side, you can suck that vert hook in with something as simple as a drag. If we wanted to do something like this, this is a fine route combination as well. Um, I personally really prefer the smart routed dig route and the backside um, little whip or the slant. I think this is the best method, but you see here how well it does a manipulating zone defense. Thanks for watching the video. This is just a little preview, a little conceptual teaching. Um, but if you want to learn my entire spread offense, I think it's got the best spacing in the game. You can check that out by joining our Patreon. All my offensive ebooks are available by joining our Patreon. The link is down in the description if you want to check it out down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.